Hi everybody, welcome back to today's video. And today I'm going to be reading Curious George Makes Pancakes by Margaret and Harry's. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is today. loved the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs at the children's hospital. Besides eating pancakes, there were all kinds of games to play. Even the mayor came to play and eat, but first he gave a welcome speech. Thank you all for coming, the mayor said. We appreciate your generous support. He thanked all the volunteers who were helping that day, and finally he said, please enjoy yourselves. And the pancakes. When the mayor finished, the man with the yellow hat said, George, I'm going to buy your ticket. Please wait here and don't be too curious. George waited like a good little monkey, but Mmm, something's not good. Could it be the pancakes? George was curious. He followed the delicious smell and found a whole griddle full of pancakes. George watched as a man poured little batter circles and flipped them up in the air. It looked like fun to make pancakes. George wanted to help. On a table near the griddle was a basket full of blueberries. These pancakes need blueberries, George thought, and he sprinkled some on top. Meanwhile, the man at the griddle was so busy, he didn't notice the little monkey helping him. But the line grew and grew. George's pancakes were a hit. Soon everyone wanted them, and he and the man could not keep up. Please wait, he said to someone holding an empty plate. I need to find an assistant to help me. And just like that, he was gone. George looked at the people waiting in line, and then at the empty griddle. What? He could make pancakes. He could be the assistant. George poured the batter into nice round circles. Next, he added the blueberries. He waited just a minute to let the pancakes cook. Then he flipped them over. And last, he added syrup. The 
life for pancakes was enormous. But with his four hands, George made quite a chef. And no one's plate was empty for long. I've been coming to this breakfast for years, the man said, but I've never seen pancakes made like this before. I've never eaten this many pancakes before, said a girl. I didn't even like pancakes before, said another girl. And they all lined up for more. I wonder what kind of toppings you will put on your pancakes. Hope you like this book, you guys. See you next time. Bye.